Hi, I'm astrologer and life coach Penny Dix. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my in-depth look at what is going to be the fourth and final almost exact square between two of the great big outer planets, my big boys, Saturn, our planet of restriction, timing, slowing down, and our planet Uranus that wants sudden change, that uh, is unpredictable, that is rebellious, and wants freedom. These two are really very opposite energies to each other. And this is the final hit through the first two weeks or so of October 2022. We have been feeling this energy on and off over the last kind of like 18 months, two years. And even though they will start to pull away from each other at the end of October, um, well, in fact, actually what will happen is because Saturn is going to be going direct at the end of October on the 23rd, Saturn will actually be moving towards Uranus and eventually may even make a sextile. But that's for later. Let's look at what this is about because with all of these astrological energies, basically, if you've done the work, you get the prize. So what do I mean by that? Well, I suppose the beauty of astrology is how it gives us the astrological climate of the energies that are affecting these different areas of our lives. The challenging side is knowing what's happening and knowing how to work with it. As I said, Uranus is about innovation. It's unpredictable. It can be inspiration. And it can, in a sense, indicate how we can truly think outside of the box. Saturn slows us down. It restricts us and mindfully reminds us of past cycles and how to not keep repeating patterns that bring the same bad results. The suddenness of a Uranus inspirational idea as opposed to the subtlety of Saturn's restrictions and sense of timing reminds us that timing in all things is everything. How is this Saturn square going to affect the planet? Well, where do I start? Where do I indeed start? Because we can already see what's unfolding on the uh, amazing world stage of this planet. The United States continues to endure kind of internal turbulence and a certain ex-president is in a little bit of difficulty. And I think that is courtesy of this Saturn Uranus square. If he manages to get through this, then I don't know, I think it'll come back to bite him in the bum again. But I'm not sure he will with this particular energy because this is the final hit. It will be interesting to see how that unfolds. Now, with regard to the UK, the economy, as it is in lots of parts of the world, is in turmoil. And we've had party leadership changes. And I feel, and I'm sure a lot of you from the UK out there probably feel the same as me, that the economy is on a kind of precipice of unpredictable outcomes. And this kind of reckless, what I really feel is inappropriate budgeting 
brought in by the new UK government, I really don't think is going to help things, not in Europe and not in the rest. I, I, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not, an, I'm not a financial expert. I'm quite happy to own up to that. But it just doesn't sound good. Let the rich keep their money, but really still let the poor struggle. Doesn't quite ring true with me. But anyway, let's look at Europe. And in particular, the situation between Ukraine and Russia. We have seen spiraling events late in September caused, I think, by the Russian president's paranoia and persecution complex. And the possibility of him losing his grip on power at home, really our classic Saturn Uranus square energies in full glory. The precipice of an unpredictable future, the very survival of our planet is a kind of typical acting out of the drama rather than those involved doing what I've talked about earlier, doing the inner work, reflecting on their egos and narcissism, which is just being projected into the outside world and it's causing this dangerously delicate state of affairs to spiral out of control. So, the Saturn Uranus Square has bought the opportunity for the main players in whichever part of the world they are featured. It's given them the opportunity to go within, to weigh up the costs of their threatened actions. I mean, we're in Libra season, you know, get a balance here, weigh up the costs. Their egos threaten our destruction, even though they may go down too. It's like, ah, oh, yes, but I got you, didn't I? You thought I was bluffing. Ha ha! And that's not really very good and it's not what we want. So am I being a bit dramatic? Well, yes and no. And really what I've just painted is the, the worst case scenario. And because both Saturn and Uranus are currently retrograde, when they have this near exact hit. Um, I really would recommend that the significant leaders in the world, let's just leave it like that, need to learn from the history of the past, that there can be no winners if it's at the expense of common sense. And you know what it takes, just a small shift and an awakened sense of awareness that can swing the outcome positively. Now, the good news is that Uranus is about waking up and about human consciousness waking up and being elevated. And I think it's interesting the amount if we're to believe the news, because I will always say that because I don't know. I'm hoping that we get fairly close to the reality of what's happening in other parts of the world. But if we're to believe that there are many protests going on throughout Russia against conscription and against their young men being sent as kind of cannon fodder, so to speak, to Ukraine, then I think with this Uranian waking up, and remember, we are moving towards the age of Aquarius. Uranus, Uranus rules Aquarius. We're coming out of this age of Pisces. Hang on, quick. Oceans of emotions. But we're coming out of this, um, you know, period of really uncontained, unbounded 
reaction. And I think we have to collectively have faith that enough people out there behind the scenes and to a certain extent in front of the scenes can persuade the blind to see. Now, how is this gonna affect you personally? I'm sure you wanna know how it's affecting you because what I would say is if you've listened intently or at least listened closely to what I've just said above for the planet, um, and if you want to go to my website, you can read the, the accompanying blog um, where you can perhaps sometimes when we read, we absorb something a bit better. But if you've listened to the above, what I'd like you to do is dilute that energy to a more personal level. And it's about reflecting on the life area where you've had the most focus and challenges and changes over the last couple of years. Because that will give you the best insight as to what these two planets have been encouraging you to address. And when I do your individual zodiac signs and sun signs, uh, sorry, and uh, uh, rising signs, remember to check out both. In fact, your rising sign will give you a much clearer picture of where this Saturn Uranus energy or how it is affecting you. But I just want you to, to have a think. I'm gonna ask some kind of rhetorical questions, which you might want to actually write about or, or answer for yourself. How, how much do you reflect on your inner self? How often, this is an interesting one, do you look at where you may be self-sabotaging through repeated patterns? How often do you look at what you project on others and contemplate on whether this projection is actually about you and what you might be finding difficult to look at? How often do you get caught in blame? Not my fault, not my responsibility, not my problem. How often do you not take responsibility for your thoughts, deeds, words, and actions? These are the kind of self-reflecting questions we should constantly ask ourselves. And the Saturn Uranus square has been giving us these opportunities, even the painful ones, to grow and learn and change what does not serve you. Here's another question, quite a good one, and it's not easy. How often do you sit with those uncomfortable feelings, with the stuckness, with the uncertainty? Because you know, these feelings, they're gifts from our psyches to help us change and find healthier ways to relate to each other and to improve our sense of self-worth. When we have positive mutual regard for ourselves and for others, what we find is that problems that we fret about will always have a way of resolving themselves. These are all the gifts of this challenging Saturn Uranus square. Look to your past patterns. Wake up Uranus and consciously choose to make healthier options and choices. And then watch how life will change for you in a really productive and healthy way. So, I'm going to go on in a minute to your individual signs and just give you a heads up, really. Just a little brief kind of focus on the area of your life where these two planets have been squaring off. Um, but, you know, it has been a tough few years 
in reality. And, and, the, and the, the astrology has been very tough, which is why we're just going through this kind of terrible turbulence. But you know, if we do the work recommended by the planetary aspects, this is how and where astrology can be so helpful. It will make life easier so that we can breathe. Okay, let's move on to see where this has been affecting you, Aries. So this is very this is this has been very much for you about a sort of conflict between what what you'd like to do, where you'd like to go, how you'd like to initiate kind of really awe-inspiring projects and how the economics of it just keep getting in the way. And even though it's Saturn in that part of your chart to do with projects, it's almost like Uranus is slowing you down in, in your house of finance by putting lots of obstacles in your way. And it, 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 it's like it's, it's waking you up to find another way, find a different method. You know, I say this so often, and you've heard me say it before, if you keep on doing what you've always done, you always get what you've always got. Think about that, Aries, because I do feel there is, there is, there, there really is positive results that can come out of this. If you just use that Uranus energy to think outside the box and don't feel so restricted by a self-made prison. Taurus. Well. Gosh, Taurus. You've been turned inside out and upside down. I think you have changed extraordinarily. I think you've broken out and broken free in many ways that you certainly didn't think were possible and others are going, good God, how did he, she, they, what, do that? And a lot of it has been to do with your kind of public image and your work, where the going has been quite tough, not always very quick, it's been slow, that's Saturn sitting in that part of your chart. But this really is a case of if you've worked hard, Taurus, and you've worked with the changes and the waking up that Uranus has really been imploring you to do and ducking and diving with the unexpected twists and turns that have been kind of slung at you, then you really can progress in a very positive way and come out of this on top. Gemini. Well, there's been a lot here for you, Gemini, about inner work. I mean, you're a very communicative sign and you think and you do analyze, but sometimes you're not so good at getting deep down into those feelings. And you get, you get a bit stuck in the, the kind of the facts and your thinking and your mentality has to kind of get out of the way so that we can get some of that kind of spiritual undercurrent coming through to help you grow and develop. And I think you've been struggling with this over the last couple of years. And I think you are breaking through. And I think it's really important that you allow yourself to start doing things in a different way. You start thinking in a more innovative and inventive way. That you have a little bit more faith in the kind of process and dynamics of life. And I think if you do that, Gemini, it will serve you well. Cancer. 
you've you've had some similar problems really to Aries, but the other way round because it's like. Uranus has been making you see lots of opportunities and how you could change things and how you could just kind of, it's like you've been jumping off in all sorts of different areas with the projects that you want to, to sort of launch. Saturn's just not been making it very easy for you. Saturn has been saying, whoa, 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 slow down. Give this time. Breathe. All in good time. If there is something very important that you want to initiate, launch, then I really do feel, Cancer, that you need to just bide your time. Be patient a little bit longer. Wait for this energy to ease off. It's going to be a very different climate, astrologically, that we move into next year is a few more weeks or months the end of the world if you just have to kind of just wait for the the cosmos if you like to give you the green light leo leo this has been an extraordinary time for you your working life your kind of um public image if you are in the have a public profile through um, the work you do, and it's quite likely because Leo, you do like to be in the limelight. And Uranus has been really creating some extraordinary um, twists and turns for your, your career. And assuming you're working with it and thinking, okay, that's a dead end right let's look down this path then i think it will be serving you well and i think that saturn in your house of relationships aquarius has shown how people that really care about you have been endeavoring to slow you down and sometimes that's been frustrating but they're doing it because they care. And I think there's a gift for you that comes from this work that you can do with the Saturn Uranus energy, which is you will see how the most extraordinary commitment can come out of this square, interestingly. And you will somehow be bringing together a kind of a a union of your work with those that you really deeply care about so that they cheer you on. They are so um, pleased for you and proud for you. That's what I think it's about for you, Leo. A lot of changes with relationships and work. Virgo, my little worry pots. How's it been affecting you? Ooh, I think it's been about travel and as opposed to your day-to-day -day routine, it's all been a bit, first you're going, then you're not, then you are, then you're not. And it's, it's, it's all been a bit unpredictable. And you know, Virgo, you do like some kind of routine. You do like things to be sort of stable. And this kind of quite strident energy of Uranus in the part of your chart that is to do with sort of long distances and that can be distances of the mind. You've been waking up Virgo in some quite extraordinary ways. And I think you are seeing that the restrictions that have held you back in your working life, in your sort of day-to-day -day working life and restrictions of your health that have held you back. I think ultimately you will see that this was actually very much needed and a very useful and powerful gift from the cosmos. Libra. Libra. You, you do like to um, 
enjoy yourself as we all do. And you're a very fair-minded, balanced person. You're a good person to have as a friend. Um, you are, um, you're, you, you can have quite a good sense of intuition when you get out of your own way. This Saturn for you has, has been slowing you down in terms of creativity. I think it's been difficult for you to get a handle on what you want to do next and what will feed your soul. And I think it's really been quite challenging for you. And that Uranus in the part of your chart that is really about transformation, I think you're going through some incredible kind of self-awareness aha moments where you're thinking, wow, did that just happen? Is what that person said and it's now happened, is, is there really such a thing as like life after death? And um, can people really see what's going to happen? What's going to unfold? And I think you're waking up to the transformational energies of the cosmos. So I think it's actually been and will continue to be. It's, it's like it's giving you a gift of awareness. And that has to be good. Scorpio. Where do I start, Scorpio? It's been about your home and family. There have been issues going on. Family members may have been putting obstacles up to, in, you know, for you in what you want to do. There's been a significant other or significant others in your life who, who are being, who, who are just really being very rebellious and causing all sorts of mayhem and upsets. And it feels as if, it feels as if with this Saturn Uranus square, you're really going to be weighing up because we are in Libra season. You're going to be weighing up what suits you best in the long term. And you may make some rather unexpected choices. Maybe choices you didn't think you would make about your significant close relationship or ships. If you're single, you could suddenly meet someone absolutely out of the blue. And it will have you reassessing where you live and what you want to do. So Scorpio, it's been very much about your relationships and living space, but we're coming out of it. And I just think that Uranus ultimately has been trying to give you freedom and make you realize that just because you have freedom, it doesn't mean you lose everything else or you don't lose the ones that you're close to. There's something in that you, you, you need to think about, Scorpio. Sagittarius. Gosh, your routine has been all over the place over the last couple of years. I mean, I don't suppose the pandemic has helped. And I think you've been run ragged in many ways. I think you may also have had some very challenging health issues, which just, just, are just slowing you down because, you know, even, even though Saturn is, is in your third house of communication, I think you've had to really slow down and think about how you communicate with others because I think you felt so frustrated by certain difficulties that you've been experiencing on a personal level that it's been difficult to not kind of just blow a short fuse. And I think you've had to learn to remove yourself from the hustle and bustle of everything and breathe. This energy is passing. It will get easier, Sagittarius. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And you know what? When, when Saturn moves into your fourth house, 
There'll be so much, that's your home life and your family. You will experience at last some well-deserved stability. Capricorn. Capricorn. Gosh. You're out there, you're in there, you're playing, you're... Uh, you, you, you're having quite a busy time with Uranus in the sector of your chart that is to do with creativity. And uh, it, it's, it's art, it's music, it's theater, it's, it's also, it can be love affairs. So there must have been opportunities and there must have been unexpected meetings. They may not have come to anything. And I think the problem is because you've got that Saturn slowing things down in your house of finance, Aquarius, it'll be like, you know, if, if, if you're sort of minding your own kind of banking systems and money pot, if somebody comes along who has sort of um, inspired you, woken you up and you think, oh, he looks quite nice to have a relationship with, and then you find out they're a pauper, just isn't going to work, is it, Capricorn? Um, you need stability, Capricorn. You are Capricorn. You are ruled by Saturn. And I think you, you know, when Saturn goes direct in October on the 23rd, you're going to see a little bit more stability coming into your finance. And I think you should just be hopeful that when this square eases off, which it will towards the end of the year, you may well meet somebody unexpectedly. And that person could become somebody more long-term. If you're looking, if not, well, I would just explore all the potentials of your creativity and make sure you have an outlet for that creative side of you. And now we come to Aquarius. Have you moved? Have you thought of moving? Have you moved several times? Because Uranus is in this part of your chart for quite a long time. And it's almost like you're never settled where you are. But I think you've, um, if you haven't moved, then you probably are planning to or looking to, and it may not have happened yet. But I think if anything, it's been you that's been the sort of spanner in the works. I think Saturn in your sign, in your first house, has really been in some ways helping you, in some ways slowing you down to really look at what the, the best kind of way forward is. And Saturn has been teaching you some boundaries uh, you are fixed, Aquarius, so Uranus in your fourth house um, has been kind of waking you up a bit in terms of maybe your home life could change or brighten up. But it's certainly not been dull, Aquarius. And don't worry, because I think that... Um, because Saturn is going direct on the 23rd, it's just going to take the foot off the brakes for you a bit. And you'll see the way clearer as to how your home life and how you uh, connect with family can fall into place. There's something about internet and technology that maybe some people don't want to embrace. And you're just going to have to sit down and teach them so they can do it and stay connected with you. Pisces, my little oceans of emotions, how are you Pisces? Because for you, you've had this energy going on between your 12th house and your third house. So Saturn in Aquarius, in this part of your chart that is to do with where you can feel restricted and Pisces, you don't like to be restricted. You want to be free. You want to be unbounded and kind of going with the flow. And Saturn is, has, in a sense, been a hard taskmaster. Saturn has been slowing you down and saying, look within, learn from the past. It's about timing. You cannot change or move forward 
until you've dealt with the problems of the past. I said this to Aries, I think, at the beginning, but I'm going to say it to you as well, Pisces. If you keep on doing what you've always done, you always get what you've always got. It's a really good one to remind ourselves of that every now and then. Now, this Uranus energy in your communication sector, I think shows how you are finding it so much easier to speak in a very inspirational way. You're coming across in a way that's really making people sit up and look at you. But because you've been caught in this square with Saturn, you're not having enough trust and faith in yourself that you can do it. So you too, like I've said to one or two of the other signs, need to get out of your own way and have some faith and trust in the process. The beginning of this video, when I talked about how it would affect us all personally, I mentioned several questions that it can be good to ask. And I suspect it might be really good for you to go back and look at where you self-sabotage, where you don't take responsibility, where you apportion blame, um, where you project onto others because you can't face what you're seeing in them, in yourself. So it's just, I think, worth thinking of that because you can turn it round into a really positive step forward. So on that note, thank you all of you for coming to watch this rather long, extraordinary Saturn square Uranus um, deep dive, deep in-depth look and please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Please check out the other videos on my channel. And um, if you've not checked out yet the um, series of episodes I do called Whiskey and Bagel Astrology with Brandon Russ, Conscious Medium, medium Brandon Russ, um, we talk about a lot of really interesting topics and especially stuff that sort of topical in the news at the moment and uh, we get mostly good good comments back and some challenging ones but that's okay keep them coming it's good for us to be pushed to get it even better and to be more correct and get it right so anyway once again thank you all for joining me i look forward to seeing you next time bye for now